In this video, we're going to provide an overview of WorkBot for Microsoft Teams from Workato. With WorkBot, you can transform how work gets done across your business by turning a business communications platform like Microsoft Teams into the single pane of glass for how employees access data and make decisions. Companies can use WorkBot to create as many custom bots as they'd like to handle processes across HR, finance, or any other key areas of your business. Bots can be customized with unique names and branding to help drive excitement and adoption. And for this video, we'll review an end-to-end -end hiring and onboarding process in HR that can be driven entirely from Microsoft Teams, making it faster and easier in the process. Let's jump in. Here you can see we're in a company's Teams environment interacting with a work bot called HRBot. In this bot, we can review recent feedback from our interview panel on a candidate we're considering for a role. This information lives in a recruiting system, but utilizing WorkBot's ability to integrate with Greenhouse, we're able to surface this information directly into Teams, removing the burden from employees to log into a separate app to access this info. To create an offer, Workato pulls in our compensation guide from Workday, where it lists the compensation range for this specific role. So let's use that to configure our offer. We can select the salary, the number of stock options, the start date, and then any other message we want to provide as part of the offer. Once we get confirm, we're prompted with an option to send the offer directly from Teams via DocuSign. So once I hit send offer, system integrates with DocuSign and then we generate the offer letter that is sent off through Teams. Now a unique element of WorkBot is when your users are using the bot to access data or drive actions through integrations with Greenhouse or Workday, Workato utilizes a patented approach to managing access control within bots in Teams by only servicing information and actions that users have access to within those source applications. Now that we've sent the offer, let's see what the candidate experiences in their own email. Here we're in the candidate's email account where they've received an email with the offer details. The offer is sent just like any offer through DocuSign. The candidate can review and sign the offer that we configure within our HR bot. Moving back into our WorkBot and Microsoft Teams, once the offer is signed, we'll get an update in Teams and we receive a prompt to kick off the onboarding process. Here we can start provisioning all of the appropriate user accounts and applications that our candidate will need when they start. Things like Bamboo HR, Azure Active Directory, Jira, Zoom, and any other additional applications I want to provision for them when they start. Once that's done, we'll hit Next and start Equipment Provisioning. Here we're creating a ServiceNow request where we can select all the equipment this hire will need. Things like laptop, office keys, monitor, and an iPhone. Once I hit submit, the ticket will be sent off and we'll confirm. To complete the process, let's set up a welcome email for the new hire. We can give them arrival time, their office manager is, arrival day, and any comments. That gets shipped off to the new hire and they'll receive it to give them instructions on when to show up and who they should be talking to. So that's it, just one example of how you can dramatically transform your employee experience by bringing automation to Microsoft Teams with WorkBot from Mercado. You can learn more at Mercado.com.